Hello, hi everyone, how are you doing? My name is Karina Ortiz and I'll be your English for a specific purposes teacher. As you know, ESP is in fourth year and it is only in the first part of the academic year. So we have very few months to cover all the contents in ESP. And due to the circumstances that we are living in Argentina and in the world, we haven't the opportunity to meet face to face. So in these days, I was thinking how to introduce my subject, how to introduce myself to you. So that's why I've decided to record this video for you so that you know me you know my voice because I consider that it's quite quite difficult to interact with someone that we do not know that is one of the reasons okay the other reason is that I wanted to be a little bit close to you and that all the requirements or all the things that are necessary for ESP be explained through this video and not in a written way. Although I'm going to upload the requirements in a written form too. So, um, what is ESP? Actually, I'm going to talk about the importance of ESP in your career and uh, not the definition itself, we are going to discuss about the definition in our classes, so we have plenty of time to do it. Um, why is it important to study this subject? Well, first of all, because as teachers of English, you are going to see that we can teach, we have many fields to teach. One is teaching at schools, um, maybe you decide not to work as a teacher and you are uh, thinking to move to another country and work in an office, in a company, wherever, yeah? So, um, and sometimes as teachers we are asked to create courses, specific courses for a field of English and taking into account the needs, the necessities that learners have to learn English. So, um, in this course you are going to learn how to design a project for a course for ESP in a specific field. For instance, you can work a, with a course for tourism, for um, electromechanics, for law, whatever you want to work with. Um, and um, sometimes, not sometimes, many times, when we are asked to do that, we do not know how to do it, how to select content, how to evaluate the materials that are in the market. Um, and sometimes we are attached to a material created by or designed by some um, teachers or some specialists uh, but not paying attention to the needs of our learners. So in this course, you are going to learn that. You are going to adapt material, select content, adapt material, evaluate the material that we have in the market because we have a lot of material of ESP in the market, but we have to fit it or to adapt it to our learners. That is the key of ESP. By the end of this course, you are going to create a project for your learners. Actually will be like an ideal or a project, yes, because you are not going to teach it right now, but you are going to be prepared for the future if you are asked to create a course. Be careful 
confusing ESP with technical English. It's not the same. Um, ESP is something different. And we are going to cover all the characteristics of ESP in this course. How are we going to work? We are going to work in the Google Classroom. That is our virtual space. Hope we meet soon face to face. If we do that, we'll continue working in, in that virtual space in order to complement face to face classes. And if not, we'll continue working there. My idea is that you enter to the, the Google Classroom, to your class, the ESP class, and uh, well, we'll discuss, we'll try to, to discuss in different forums, we'll, you'll have the opportunity to, um, to watch some videos, to, to download the material necessary for this subject. My idea is to create different activities using different apps so that this subject will be would turn a little bit easier and not so theoretical, let's say. More practical than theoretical. Well, um, in our timetable, in our normal timetable, my idea is to be online so that you can have the opportunity to, if you have doubts, to ask me the doubts. You have also the opportunity to work with me in Skype so we can make a session for discussing different topics and um, clarifying those doubts, personally, let's say. Well, more or less, that is ESP and what we are going to cover. I'm going to upload the academic requirements for this subject. Um, imagine that these moments that we are living, we have to work virtually, so your participation in this virtual space is quite important and you have to log in quite frequently so that we are in touch okay and i'll ask something very very important for me um, my idea is that the explanation and everything for esp will be discussed in the forums through videos and all the resources that i use but I ask you that if you have doubts, please let me know. Let me know your doubts so that we, we can succeed in ESP altogether, of course. Well, um, I think I have discussed many aspects of ESP. Well, the first activity that you have to do is to introduce yourself. You can do it through a video, you can work with, a, make a poster or write something about you. But I need to know your face. <laughs> Apart from your names, know your face. It would be quite useful for me if you send or upload a picture of you and uh, tell me something about you. This is one of the th first things that we are going to do. The second thing that we are going to do is working, start working with uh, definitions of ESP and different uh, terms for ESP. That's all. Hope you like this course and that you learn quite a lot by the end of, of it. And um, be prepared if in the future you have to design a course for a specific field. That's it. 
Thank you very much. See you soon in Google Classroom. Bye bye.